What's this? It's Saturday afternoon. That it be. Greetings, everyone. It is I, Kikoski, welcoming you to the stream. The pre-stream, to be exact. We have the opportunity to get here, comfortably get ready for day 540 of Hills Far. Hello, how are you? Also, what is this image of Lyman? It's just him falling over, and he's like, well, this is what's happening. And he just fell. He's like, bleh. How are you all today? I hope you are all good. Hope things are going well. Guaranteed is one of those words where I constantly second guess it's spelling 100%. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is indeed. Very much so. You're like, is that correct? And it's like, yeah, it actually is. How goes it today? We could absolutely just have a, a picture of... Oh, there's so many lovely pictures we could have. So many lovely pictures. Floor chatter. <laughs> I mean, that that's very accurate. That is indeed floor chatter. That is what floor chatter does. Not quite unlike floor cheese. This is true. Could just have the thumbnail be floor chatter. You ever had cheese just wash up on the beach? Me neither, but this is chatter for you. This is chatter for you. Sometimes I dream about cheese. That is not a bad thing to do. So sometimes cheese is a good thing to dream about. Also, there is Margie being adorable. And Jitters being small. The island is actually incredibly small right now. It has three jocks on it. It has Jitters. With his perfectly ordinary beak that is very ordinary. As we all know. It's what all beaks do. You have Bud, and you also have, uh, Lyman, who, who's falling over, or standing up, I, I don't know, but... He also has such a worried thinking face. Like, he's so concerned, and I, I, I don't know why he's falling up. She's like, me. Clearly. Clearly just falling up. That is what he do. He he fallen up. He's worried about that year's cherry harvest. He'll never feed his family at this rate. <sighs> I mean, you could just not have cherries. There are other things to eat. Hey, that's just his normal gear. He just likes wearing a striped top. Some people just like wearing striped clothing, and Lyman is one of them. Is that that one gif of Cat Taggy flailing in the wind? He's like, Bee! I mean, we could just have a Taggy. I mean, this is very important. He's a good Taggy. There we go. See, imagine Taggy. And there you go. You has a taggy. There you go. It's a good emote. Scientists increasingly believe that pressing the tangy emote and, and putting it into chat makes things that much sillier. This is very true. By the way, uh, do well, this is a picture. I feel like we should delete that one. I get the feeling that that picture really isn't adding much. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> no, no it isn't. There are many other things that could be a thumbnail and that isn't it. Like this picture of Bud being exceptionally happy about a drink. He's like, yeah. 
It's just Bill's POV. We could go back and find that picture of Bill. Let me see if I can find that picture of Bill. Um, oh dear, how far back was that picture of Bill? Oh no, how far back was it? Oh, it was a while ago. Oh, there it is! There's the picture of Bill! Found it! There he is! You were thinking the original one. Did you take that outside your window? No. It's just, it's Bill! Bill in his house of a void! It's a fine, fine house. His eyes are... No, he is... He is a lovely duck. Look at that duck. Look, 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 look at the happy duck. How... The lovely dude. He's swole, and he's duck, and... He sometimes dreams about the infinite... Possibilities of space. Hello, Anne. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. He's a happy, happy person. And there's also Dizzy. I mean, Dizzy is also... He's a woo-woo, and he's he's an elephant, and he, he runs around doing zoomies, and he's blue. I mean, what more could you want out of an elephant? What more could you want? That is one happy dude. A Margie. That is true. But Margie is, is lovely in her own way. I mean, Margie's lovely in her own way. And, and Dizzy's lovely in their own way. They're both lovely. That side out. What? Did, hey. She's just envious of the lollipop, okay? Besides, they've lived on the island together on Hill... On Hills Far, they, they, they're good friends. I mean, if you want weird side eye, you, you, you just find Boris here looking at these flowers. What, am I doing it wrong? Yeah, the flowers are down there, buddy. Uh oh! Well, this is the best angle to look at them. Down there. Oh, Boris. Ah, <sighs> Boris. Also, we we can only now look at pictures of of Kitty because Kitty is no longer on the island anymore. They have left. They have left. They they are no longer here. But it's all right if you believe chat. There's been another person that's always been on the island for the entire time. Hello, G Vault. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Hope things are going good. We've won, chat. Kiko thinks the cat is Kitty. Th this cat? This cat in the emote is Kitty. Hey, you just wait, folks, until I make my move, and eventually, me and my partner actually get cats. And then we'll have actual cats. And I might be streaming, and you'll just hear a cat come up to me and be like, Wow! Oh no, that... I was talking about Kitty, but that is blatantly Olivia. That is 100% Olivia. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, I had that thing happen where you're like... Ugh. <coughs> Throat did not appreciate that. Ugh. Hey, Olivia is very different to Kitty, okay? Olivia is not as half as much of a troll. Kitty is the ultimate troll. Okay, I really like how that, that garden turned out. I really like how that garden turned out. 
these are different. Kitty isn't blatant. No, Kitty is... Kitty. <clears throat> Kitty is Kitty. Mayhem! Yippee! And Wally the Wolf is a person that's up for 53 months to 53 months streak. Thank you ever so much, that is so, so kind of you. Your jitters will be responded to with my jitters emote. Such a swole emote. Also, it's raining outside. Hello there, everyone! Right now in Hill Spot, it's 2pm on Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. It's a double every Saturday and Kiki is performing in the plaza. He loves to order request soup. If there's anything you'd like to hear, stop at the plaza and let him know. And with that, I'll get back to us supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Thank you! Now, the first thing we're gonna do is immediately turn round and go sort out some things. Yeah, we should also probably get changed. Seeing as someone living with two through, you probably should make sure you have backup cables for mission critical equipment. Ah! The the important thing is... Eh. You just hide the cables. But I don't have cats yet. Who knows? I probably won't have kittens. And you can teach cats to not do things. You just have to be consistent. <clears throat> you have to be like, hey, if I've said no to this at one point, I shouldn't say yes to it later. Like, it should always be no. Yeah, don't think I'm going to be spraying my house with wolf pee. Just gonna say that now, that's a no. Also, it's impossible to get here as we don't have wolves. Like, wolves do not exist in this country. So I'd say in the grand scheme of things, that is a probably not going to do. Am I probably not going to do... I mean, I'm absolutely not going to do it. Okay, that goes there. This goes here. That goes there. This goes here. And now we wrap all these up. Clear your answers to animate your models to watch the cat. Or you just get two cats. And then the two cats will likely entertain each other. Or you just get cats and see what happens because cats are individuals like anyone else. Alright, let's go get changed. Then we'll go find an item for Bud to be given. I'm thinking something very close. Eh, cats are individuals like anyone else. They can be great, they can be awful. Just like people. Uh, I'm going to wear today... Hmm. I have an idea. I have a plan, they would say. Ooh, I have a plan. Hmm, need something? Nah, not that. Uh, I think I have some. Yes, yes. Okay. Now we go with that. Go with some red socks. And uh, we need some some shoes. No, it, it it does not. I know you are so disappointed. I aim to disappoint. Like every single day, it's like, how can I disappoint my viewers today? The answer may not surprise you.
Um. Yeah. All right. Let's now find something to give to Bud. Hmm. What do you give to a lion like Bud? What do you give to a laid-back dude? I mean, he's already got one of those. I did! I absolutely did get the outfit out the fridge. Where else would you keep your clothes? Seems like the perfect place to get them out to me. Ooh. Ooh. I need to see what that is classed as, clothing-wise. Is it classed as yellow or green? Oh, it, it oh, oh. Oh, that is perfect. Yeah, exactly. But what's so wrong about having a doll on a stove? Seems like the perfect place to put a doll on the stove. See? Doll on the stove. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we might not be able to give Lyman a gift yet. But I'll keep this on hand just in case I can. And the first thing we do on a Saturday, of course, is we rush over as fast as we can to resident services to intercept people going to sit down. <laughs> this is when someone has already sat down. Hello, Tom Tom. Nope, no one has sat down yet. There's Bud. Someone's coming to sit down. Just gotta wait. It's not jitters. Is it Margie? It's not... Tree. How are you? I found Lolly in a village. Oh! 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 No, my heart. Tom Tom, you have Lolly. Oh. Oh, they. Oh, no. They are. They are just so lovely. Did you take them? Did you invite them to the island? Also, I need to sort something out while I'm thinking about it. But, uh,. Did you invite them? Immediately, yeah. Lolly is so adorable. She's little, little normal cat, and she's just so lovely. All right, I need to sort this out. Um. Oh no. Oh no, I think Peaches is going today. Oh no, I think Peaches is leaving today. Yeah, Tom Tom is, is doomed. Like, Tangy is Tangy, but Lolly is also incredibly adorable. And so, yet another villager gets put in here. Their photo immortalized one of the last photos to go into this room will be Olivia we are very nearly done soon there will be no more photos that can be put in there that's a weird thought that we'll be retiring that room as a place for photos 
Clearly the next place we need to put photos is the bathroom. Or I just start converting upstairs. Okay, where are all the villagers that are going to sit down? There's usually a villager that sits down. Where are they? Oh, there you are! Margie! Good afternoon, Tootie! Got a gift for you. Oh, well, really? Yep. Would you like... Thing? Man, can I go ahead and this? Well, of course you can. Oh, this is great. It's some pears. Thanks. That's a thoughtful of you. Here, I want you to have my mariachi clothing. Thanks, Margie. What's in your mind, Tootie? Just want to say hi. I was in my room earlier reading a history of resident services when suddenly the lights flickered. It flickered again. Flicker, flicker. And again. Flicker, flicker. And then crash! The door blew open. I jumped out my chair and my book fell on the floor with a thump. I saw what happened and true panic said in Tootie. I'd lost my place and would have to start recording the whole thing again from the very beginning. Oh, Margie. It finally happened. They finally realized that KK is there weekly. No. Someone always sits there. It's it's just what you do. Yeah, but I really hope Tom Tom you enjoy having the lolly on the arm. Lolly is is so charming. Like if the game gave me two more villager slots, I would have Sasha on Avataris, and I don't know who else I would have. But there will be no more villager slots. I I have to pick and choose what villagers live on my island. I just have to live with the fact that not everyone can be there. Because I'd have everyone. I, I'd have all of my favorites from everyone, but but I can't. And it makes me sad. I, I wish I could, but Sylvana exists, and there is no way that you can't have Sylvana. Oh, you have Rosie as well. Oh, you have Rosie as well. Oh, no. Oh, well, you are going to be like hyper dead. You're going to be the most dead. It's like there was a period on Avatarus where Margie and Flurry were on the same island. Think about that for a moment. Margie and Flurry both existed on the same island at once. They did. It's true. Oh. And then... Kabow! Cav got summoned by the fact that we were talking about adorableness. Hey, Cav. How you doing? He just chill him. Cav has been very sneaky and has been, been buying me things to assemble and paint. I was like, I wish I could paint something that wasn't a space marine. And Cav's gone, ho, oh, wish granted. And then he painted me something. He's bought me something. Two things, actually. How cute, a little Cav in the corner. Yep. It's Cav's idea. I've got to make sure, however, that I don't put it up for too often. Uh, I kind of left it there for like 20 minutes yesterday. And when Cav comes, he can also go. He just appears and disappears. It's like magic. I mean, Cav already steals the spotlight. It's Gulliver! Spoiled all learning for the end of a letter. Please accept this gift as a big old thank you for saving me. It probably has a more peaceful voyage to your island than I did. Hey! There's Sambo. How you doing? I hope you are doing well. No kink there. Gave me some stuff. Petrie there. And Luna. Giving me some more money. I, I hope you had a good stream, uh, Sambo. Cheese with a radar, indeed. <gasps> oh, it's not the right color sombrero, but we will gladly take the sombrero. We never say no to a sombrero. 
Sombreros are great. Also, I just found Petrie. Let me uh, speak with Petrie. Oh, she's just having a sit. Listening to her tunes, doing some work. If it isn't dear Sandstar, thank you for coming over to see me. Got a gift for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. I insist. Would you like? Thing. We'll sit in a moment. But no, shabby job. Shame I'll be turning into it right away. Some pears, my my. Thank you, Sandstar. I can't wait to try it. How can I thank you? Ah, what do you take as a reward of a modern tea room wall? Thanks, Petrie. Why, is there something I can help you with? Mm -hmm. Just want to say hello. The weather has finally warmed up, my dear, and that means it's time to get outside. But what should I wear? The weather changes so quickly for to the next time this time of year. Hot, cold, hot, cold. Spring is a fashion conundrum. Now I will sit. You know, Petrie, there is a chair right there. There is literally a chair at your computer. You were sat on it not a moment ago. I know. Doesn't mean to say I'm going to use it. That's Petrie for you. Also, this is Bela. Probably being adorable. Chair's facing the wrong way. Well, they could just turn it around. There's a chair she don't care. Wow, I said that same sort of thing. Wait, oh! Bella is wearing her, li her giant ribbon. Look, look at that. Look at the, the, the punk mouse. Sandy, welcome to a world of tasty flavors. Well, what you make him? Right now, I'm wearing some potato galat. The recipes from so-called info that I'm totally not jealous of. I decided to put my own spin on it. Sandy, you want a recipe, yeah? I totally do. Hand me the recipe! Oh, wait, you already have this recipe. Well, give this barbecue to your friends. Fuck no whole new trend eggs. I will. Sandy, you need some eggs? Just want to hand you a gift. Can you give me a thing? That I am. Would you like thing? Bet you would. Why could it be? I'm going to say, well, I owe it. So, Pez, yum. I'm winning so fast, it's going to be rude. Thanks a bunch. Hey, what do you say thanks for like an object? It's a grey shanty wall, enjoy! Thanks, Bela. What's up, Jordan Prentice being pop stars together? I just want to chat. How do you feel about sharing your favorite hobbies and stuff with your friends? Love it or leave it? I for one love to share. Having friends who like me saying things also makes it harder to miss juicy news. One time I totally missed out on a super special limit did it run pre-run. I was pretty shaken, still sh pretty shaken up about it. That said, I totally get why someone want to keep stuff like that all to themselves. I used to be obsessed with an indie pop round. When they hit it big, I felt super torn up about it. I was so proud of them and all, but they weren't my biggest secret anymore. Ugh, feelings are way too complicated. They are. Feelings are totes complicated. And I use the word totes. And not for a bag. That's because Bella does it. And anything Bella says is automatically cool. This is, this is science. Science has proven this. Alright, let's carry on. It might in fact not be science. Also, the swole toll is getting up there. It's getting pretty hefty. Oh, there are 23 of you here already. Thank you ever, ever so much. That is so kind of you that you're all here. Truly, it's kind. To get swole? Well, when we've done a little circle around the island, G Vault, that is exactly what we will do. We will get swole. Gotta put my sombrero away anyway. Hey, there's Benedict. I always think running into you, Sandy. How's things? I want to hand you a gift. Huh. Do I get something? Yes, you do. Would you like... Thing? No one do it inside. I'm going to open it. Some pears. Yummy. Lucy, thank you. Thank you. 
Oh, Sandy, I'm going to lay the floor and eat that mighty machine with the bugs. I want to thank you. You're a man of champions, Pennant. Hope you like it, Uhu. I will. Thank you very much. Here. Yeah. What's new, Uhu? Just want to chat. I had the weirdest dream last night. I dreamed about flying. It was cool. It's like I was a bird way up high where I could see everything. But then I got hungry and couldn't figure out how to land. That, that'll happen. I'm gonna look over here and be like, yup, dead. That's the sea, alright. Will this ever stop spinning? We'll never know. Alright. So. Grab all this money. Go talk to our good friend, Bud. Hand him something cool. I think he'll like it. I hope he'll like it. This is when he's not, in fact, wearing his hat. Is he wearing his hat today? He is not wearing his hat. And he is sat under a tree. That is okay. We can deal with the tree. I mean, we do need... Stop spinning on the last stream, does it? What, what if Benedict leaves? It'll stop spinning then, won't it? Like, it, it'll cease then. Now there is no more tree here. There's no tree here. Like, huh, it was shaded here a moment ago. I should probably put away the sombrero so I don't accidentally sell it. I also might appreciate the shaping rude and the treat. Nah, he's fine. He's swollen enough to be able to resist that. He didn't even notice. Kinda need you to stand up, buddy. I've got I've got a shirt to give you. Oh, he's thinking. He's thinking. Come on. Come on, come on. I need you to I would like you to stand up, please. He is not going to stand up. Buddy. Pal. I have clothing for you, but I literally cannot give it to you while you are stood, while you're sat down. The game won't let me. He's thinking about it. He keeps thinking about it. Come on. He is not going to get up, is he? Sir, I have a gift for you. I have a thing. Buddy. Bud. It's literally your name. I just want to... Yeah, okay. He's thinking. He's thinking again. He's thinking again. He's not knocked out. He's fine. He's literally drinking his can of beverage. Oh, he's getting up. He's getting up. Yo, you been training, Shredded? No, I've been waiting for you to stand up. Huh? What do you got, Shredded? I've got thing for you. It's special. Haha, <laughs> I wonder what it could be. Whoa, this looks like a tropical cut and sew tank. Awesome. This should really help highlight my delts. Thanks! This looks great! You will know my style, Shredded! Okay, that looks really good on you. Gotta give us what you take! Please think of printed Steve sweater! Thanks, buddy! Yo, 
What's up, Shredded? Just wanna chat. You can't win your play for the Happy Home Academy yet? They're coming tomorrow, Shredded. They're gonna score on how well you decorated your place. You gotta pull out your A game. He's like, now where do I sit? He'll find somewhere. Right, we're almost done with this area. Also, go. Oh! 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 <laughs> Did it's like. Bazoot! Y y you're flexing your singing muscles? Because I'm flexing my fishing muscles. Hi, buddy. Yo, you've been training chips? I've been chatting. This weather's really gets the muscles glistening, chips. I read that sitting like this is the best way to work up your core muscles. I know it looks like I'm always sitting down, though, but I'm actually clenching my abs, bizarre. Just gotta wait for him to get up so we can give him a gift. Now, he will sit up eventually. Vegetus has trained himself to even be invisible to the water's reflection. What if I told you that no villagers have a reflection in the water? Because they didn't program that in. Not even you. You don't have a reflection. Just want to hand you a thing. Well, from you, Bizarre. Just want to hand you... Thing. I got over it now. I can't wait. So best our list is right about now. Thanks, I'll leave you later. Time to flex your gadget muscles. I want you to have some fishing waders. Thanks, buddy. Now we'll just put away this extra present. And by that I mean we'll put it on the floor. And after that, we'll go get swole. There aren't actually that many more villagers we need to find. We need to find Peaches, um, Peaches, Boris, and Rocket, I think. And there's Peaches and Rocket! We need to find Flurry as well. Flurry doesn't live on this island, I'll have you know. Flurry is not a resident of Hills Farm. I'm starting to wonder where you get your information from. I am wondering whether those sources are accurate. Source, I made it up. I saw that you made it up. Number one lesson for HK Traden. HK Traden is uh, incapable of seeing jitters. And yet also refers to jitters constantly. Alios, on the other hand, believes that jitters left the island ages ago, when Sprocket left. I have to say this weird person is very trustworthy. Everyone seems to reference them as a source. Okay, what if I told you they're not in fact referencing a person when they say that? It's like how Anon isn't one person. Anon just means you don't know who to attribute it to. Yeah. Traden's mind has been absolutely shattered. They will not believe me. They refuse. They're like, I refuse to believe this? None of this is true. Alright, let's go over here. Is Peaches here? The answer is yes. 
I'm going to be sad when Peaches leaves. Because that's happening today. Come in and sense that. My home's your home, neighbor. Well, I got a thing for you. You want to give me something? That I do. Would you like thing? Might have some right now. Oh, this is great. It's some bears. Thanks. That's so thoughtful of you. I have something here for you. A throwback skull radio. Thanks, Peaches. Need something, neighbor? Just want to chat. I didn't expect to love wearing my casual sheet dress like this. I feel famous, you know. Like anyone can interrupt my tea time at the moment to sign, ask for an autograph, and I tell them, of course, to meet with a gold paint pen I might happen to always carry in my bag. Oh. I do like her, but... I just... I just can't have her forever, because... We gotta have coal on the island. That is, that is just what we gotta do. Also, Fred's car continues to be there. Continues to never be fixed. No one will ever fix Fred's car. Not even Fred. Even if Fred came back, Fred would never fix Fred's car. And the thing is, if he came back, this would mean no this guy. And I know there would be a couple of people that would be very sad about that fact. They would be incredibly upset that we didn't invite Frank back on the island. I mean, how can we not have our Magnum PI guy? Okay, don't- Oh no, Boris is right here. Hogwash, always a pleasure. Thought you didn't see me? Well, I'm right here. What? You wanna give me something? I do. Would you like... Thing? Bet you would. Can't wait to see what's inside. Some pears! Smells that good too. I'll give you some good home. In my belly. Ha 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 ha! I don't want any freebies. Here, have a yellow flower print wall. Thanks, buddy! I like the thing with his ear, and he just like, it flicks up. Oh hey kiddo, what's in your mind? Just wanna say hi? I've gotten soft in my old age, but I have you know I was quite the hooligan when I was younger. I had these shoes that were like real long shoes. You don't understand, all the tough guys are really into wearing long shoes back then. Uh, what were they? Hey, quit laughing! Was it a pair of pairs? Yes, actually, it, it was. It was a two pair. Two pair beyond compare, over there. Two pair. How's the cheese? Oh, we're getting very cheesy today. I have to say that cheese, no matter what experiments I do, it, it's consistently remained cheese. Never once has it changed. Never once. Now I get the feeling today is going to be one of those days where I have to sell all of my stuff before I head to the upper area because we're going to be dealing with produce. Anything else happening here? Do we need to keep our eyes out for terry cloth socks? Well, oh, she sat down again, and then she's going to immediately leave and be like, No, I'm going to go back here and sit back down. Or she'll get stuck and never actually manage to sit back down. This could happen. This could indeed happen. Pathfinding is difficult. Alright, let's just do that. Get all these. There we go. 
Grab that. And pop it here. If we find Rocket here, I'll be very happy. Hey! Hey there, welcome to the Emerson's Words, so fast to be lovely by Claw. Thank you, and hello you! Hey there, Sandstar! On the hunt for a new style, you came to the right place. The stuff here changes them every day, so it's a cinch to keep your wardrobe fresh from. It is! What is it, what is it? I want to see! I've got a thing for you, you never know. You might hand me your photo, and if you do, Peaches might be able to stay a bit longer. You don't mind if I open this now, right? There's something tastier than some pears, thanks! Thanks, I could eat for days. They're scary good, Vrum. Surprise gift exchange. Here's a Kapaka undercoat. Nope, it's gonna be peaches. So, what to say, Vrum? Just wanna say hello? I thought coming here for a bit of retail therapy might help lift my mood. But everything looks so good that I'm getting anxious to just pick something, Vrum. Hello, Sable. You know what time she's hanging on my left wall over there? It belonged to our mother. Every time I look at it, I get this one feeling inside. Like when she would hug me. Huh. When was the last time I wore some dress pants? I can't even remember from. Yeah, most people in this island on this island just do not wear pants. They they just don't wear pants. Rocket shopping out of pocket, that's true. Um, no good socks, but I do see an amazing cafe uniform. I'm going to buy that, and I'm also going to buy the green one. If it's, I'm going to buy all of them. One day I might go with, like, a cafe-style outfit. And for that, I want to need some cafe-style clothing. I honestly don't know if I have all of them. Let's rectify this problem by buying them all. I like that for all the villagers, basically, on Avataros, I went with their preferred colours for their clothing and style, but for Bill, I just went every basketball tank. Like, that's the only clothing that Bill has. It's every basketball tank except the red one. Because Bill is red. Thanks, please come again. I will. Like, Bill goes to his wardrobe and is like, Huh, which basketball tank will I wear today? And then he picks the basketball tank he's going to wear. That, that's it. That's what he wears. So, is today a produce day? Oh yeah, today is a produce day. Hmm. So. Grab that. I have nothing else here. And now we're gonna have to put away all of our stuff and sell things and buy more things. We should probably water all these crops before we do. Nothing special here that I need to keep new. No. Right, so. We'll water. Up. I only need 10 spaces, though. I will. Later. I could throw those away. Okay, I think I'm onto something here. If I put away the conch shells... Okay, I've got an idea. Hello, by the way, Thrithland. If I go over here... Throw away a couple of items. Like that, that... That, and... Honestly, that.
I should then have enough space to grab all of the... I should be just enough room. Yeah, it should be just enough room. I can even make a little bit more room by putting some more fossil... Uh, not fossils, the... Um, shell stuff away. The problem with going to get fossils identified now is the fact that if I did that and I found more fossils, I'd still have to get fossils identified. So I'm not saving any time by doing that. That is not what I wanted to do, game, but okay. Over here. We'll put that away, that away, and honestly, that away. And just like that, we have more than enough space now. So let's grab everything. This should be sufficient. actually have loads of space, so I don't know what I was worrying about. I could have kept half of the stuff that I threw away. But it's alright. We didn't really lose that much money. It's not like we're rolling... Oh wait, we are rolling in money. Literally rolling in it. I have more money on this game, but I'd never know what to do with in real life, probably. Oh, there's the other fossil, by the way. Just there, being a fossil. Grab that. Have more tasty beverage. get ready with identifying the fossils. You want to sit here? Sorry, my legs are so tired from my last workout. I couldn't get up if I wanted to. And thus, he never got up. Bye, present. My present, hello future, which is now the present that has immediately become the past. Yeah, pardon me. Why, hello, Sandstar. Welcome to the Hillsborough Museum. How may I be of service? I'd like to assess some fossils. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. I'd like for you to assess thing, please. Oh, well, the one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Yes, indeed, quite splendid, but alas, some museum already has fossils such as these. I would need to to purchase these in my personal collection, but no, I must exercise your training tablet home too now. Well, thank you very much. Might I help you with anything else? No, but I'm good. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. I will. And by that, I mean I'm gonna do that. And over here. Meow. Hi, buddy! Well, looky here, it's you again. We keep our men to each other. That we do. Back in my day, my job was to persuade folks to play the game without hitting reset. And I was good at it, too. I bust out the ground yell, hey, no resetting! <laughs> no, I wasn't doing all that just because I got a pickaxe to grind or nothing. I was just trying to tell folks to play the game that's what's more satisfying. Do the work! 
the fruity labels are all worth harvesting you with your machine over my foot seven. Not that I can you take it too far. Never! Not once! <laughs> Maybe once or twice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I totally did. It is kind of nice out of God. Maybe the mild weather will mellow out my big bro's constant lectures. <laughs> you rarely see him, but you do sometimes see him. What's home not change today? Kept some coffee and two hundred a cup. Sure thing. Sure. Just gonna pour this out here. I mean, if you wanted more villager slots here, you know what you gotta do, Sandstar. Drink the coffee. I brew this cup especially for you. Drink up, cool. Yeah, no. I said, drink up. Cool. But we did not drink up. Hmm. Goes down nice and mellow when it's cooled a little bit. That it does. Cool. Thank you very much. Bye, buddy! And thus, we went this way. And got the coffee in the glass. Ooh, we have a butterfly catching one. We might actually want to catch a couple butterflies. I mean, we don't need the Nook Miles either, but I mean, if the game's just gonna offer me this... Why not I take it? Alright, pop into here. Ooh! Hello, hello! Oh goodness, Granny! Is that a gas pump? Do I have that? Yes, I have indeed had that before, but still worth checking. It's gas with a broken car that nobody can use. Because it is broken. Sell all these. Get enough money to put just money away. Buy ourselves a shovel. Actually, no. Buy ourselves a shovel! After I have done this. Actually, no. You know what? We are not going to buy a shovel. We're going to make a shovel. Because I have not been making enough tools. It is time for me to start making more tools. The only exception, of course, will be the awesome, sad elephant watering cans, because they are the greatest. It will also give me an excuse to actually start using all of this stuff. So, we go... That. That. I forgot to sell some wheat. Well, that goes in my storage. Right, so, make, let's see if there's anything that we can actually get out of the, I think there will be some stuff that we can get out of this. Um, oh, there's a lot. A rusted part, a cardboard box, a sapling, this and a baggy shirt, I mean. The rusted part we want, the rest of it we really don't. Well, we'll hold on to it, so that we can sell it in a bit. Flimsy shovel crafted. Shovel crafted. And... It will soon be time to invite a new villager over. First, 100,000. So that we can now have 75,400,000 bells. Because that's what you do. You have tons and tons of bells. Right. So, 
And let us invite Vire Amiibo. Our good friend Cole. I've been looking forward to having this guy on the island. Hello, this is Cole. Thanks for the call. Now I know my phone mics what you need. Oh, camping. You betcha I love your island. Cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. Look at me, I'm cool. And he's like, yeah, you are cool. You are very cool, Cole. All right. Let's go say hi to our future buddy. I'm going to be sad when Peach just leaves, though. We can't actually have anyone else go right now because Rocket and Benedict and Petrie have yet to hand over their photos. I don't know why I'm popping in here. This is not where Cole is, but I'm going to go say hi to Peaches anyway. I love having you over, neighbor. Oh, this is making me even sadder that you're gonna go. Is it weird to love an object? Because I'm basically in love with my extra long, uh, my long extra long sofa. It's my favorite place to study your rights, and it's just so perfectly comfortable, neighbor. That's uh, all I came here for. Definitely didn't accidentally walk in here because I went to the wrong place. I'm awake. I mean, I am. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stream. That? Hang on. That's been slightly too far forward all this time. Well, I fixed that problem that I didn't know I had. I wonder how that uh, ended up happening. Hey, buddy! I'm here to hang out thanks for the invite, cool! It's no problem. Man, there'd be many one deceased thing made in this island. Like a wooden chest. I, I can make that happen. Yeah, you do that for me. Neat, my grandma told me the idea. I can't wait to see it. No, I gotta see it today, though, because I'm going home tomorrow. Well, good news, buddy. I can make it for you. We can make it happen. But all we need is... 16 bits of wood. All right, buddy. This might take a while. Because I need to get 16 bits of wood. Let's get going. That is zero bits of wood I have accumulated for this. This might take a while. Oh boy, we have got zero bits of normal wood. One! Ah, oh, this is a little unfortunate. That's a little better, though. Odds are that we should, in theory, get it at a pretty uh, even... There is another fossil here. Huh. I must have missed this fossil at some point. grab that flower anyway. Yep, one extra fossil. Just here, being a fossil. Well, now I know it's there. Also, I need 12 more bits of wood. And I still need more wood. That literally will do nothing. Uh, come on. There we go. It's a little difficult, to be fair. To it's a little difficult to get. It's a there we go. I don't know why I go after this tree. There hell. <laughs> we made it out, everyone. We survived. Were you there 
when Sandstar got caught on a tree. It's a harrowing experience we will never forget. You've probably already forgotten it. You're like, I'm sorry, what? What was I meant to be harrowed by? And it's like, yeah. Also, the number of logs that we have received has slowly been balancing out, as you can see. It's now literally 12s across the board. Now we just need a few more. Each log is just as likely as any other log. You know what? I'm actually going to shoot that down. Because why not? Oh, actually, we don't need any more logs. We have all the logs we need anyway, so that ended up timing just perfectly. Hope you're all doing well, by the way. If you're curious, I have loads of Warhammer-related stuff now. Oh my... Okay, it fell down up there, rather. It fell down up there. Oh, language down and up used right after each other and it works but uh, I've added a few extra little things over time you know just little things that's a punching bag that's what some people think I am when it comes to playing content that absolutely kicks my butt but then again I'm the person that thinks I'm not very good at platformers and then people remind me that I completed Shovel Knight all of Shovel Knight and I'm like okay I kind of did but still, that is something I, I will will say that anyone can do. With enough time and dedication. Actually, I'm going to put this fossil in my storage. You never know we might need a fossil. Hello, Jesse. How you doing? I hope you are doing well. We have a lot of random things in here. So that there is here. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go get it crafted. So harrowing. Thanks, Threathrond. Greatly appreciated. Alright. Let's go get our thing crafted over here. Wooden chest. Don't know why he wants this, but I've made it for him. And that was literally all we needed for the craft items one. The only one we haven't done yet is the catch bugs one. Which we will do after we have given. You know, we might as well get started now. Might as well get started if the game's going to be so generous. Should be like really easy to catch bugs. Mostly butterflies. This is when the game goes, I'm not going to give you any more butterflies. Um, I'm not quite sure what your statement is, is going for there, Jesse. You look real happy. Did you make that thing we talked about? You know it. So, got a thing for you right there. I got that was when you made for me. How's my folks are so nice. Oh yeah, take this from me. It's a figure skating costume. As a thanks to you, present. Thanks, Cole. Thanks for the souvenir. I love this island even more than a sandwich. But less than an ice cream sandwich. I hope you invite me back. I do more than that. Here's what's got it all. Nice folks, cool stuff, green snacks, and friendly bugs. I could stay here forever. You should stay, buddy. Huh? Really? Oh man, it'd be double fun with you around. I gotta go ask Chris and services if I can move this out right away, cool. Sorry for the wait. I went to talk to Chris and service folks here. 
Every day Cindy's no more room to build her property on my own, so I can't move him, but I can always ask another resident to swap with me if that's cool with you, cool. I mean, go for it. Yay! Resident Services just told me I could go ask these folks they want out. Who do you think is your best shot? <sighs> Literally the next person. Peaches, right? I'm afraid so. Okay, I'll be nervous, but I got no idea who they are, so they can't make me nervous. Off I go! I used all my cards to ask someone to change their whole life. For me, Cole, a guy you don't even know. Oh, by the way, my name's Cole, hi. Anyway, Peachy said okay. She said she wanted you thinking about moving away because of the night clowns. I decided not to get into it. My point is, I can move here now, so get ready, Sandstar. Yay! We got ourselves a bunny rabbit moving to the island. And they're a lovely. Look! Doesn't your island have night clowns? Also, hello, Clay. Doesn't every island have night clowns? Yeah, see, every island has a night clown. Campy food's all about s'mores, chocolate graham crackers, and a toasty marshmallow. Man, I wish I could eat s'mores at home. Too bad there's no way to toast a marshmallow without fire. Not now, not ever. There never has been, never will be. You got to have a campfire. You cannot have s'mores any other way. It's science. I looked it up. The internet told me. The internet's never lie. Ever. Now, sadness. Oh! Hi, Sunstar! It was this only ten minutes ago! But I mean, I meant to tell you before, but I never found the right time. I'm moving to an island tomorrow. Sorry to spring is on you like this. I'm really glad to have known you. Wish me luck on my new adventure! Packing up everything I own has got me thinking back on my time here. Guess I'm a little sad to be leaving. Oh, we will miss you because you're lovely. Mm. We will. There will be a lot of sad. Oh, got to gotta wait for it to move over here. She's like, no, I'm just going to sweep over here. Mm. Well, also look how happy she is to be on a new adventure. Go on, gotta get the flowers. I don't know this horse person, but it's still sad when indeed. Look how lovely she is. Well, her journey is just beginning. Hello, Diamond. But, she may be moving. But we have... Oh, hi, buddy. Do you mind if I catch this? Darn it! Do you mind if I catch this? No, buddy, off you go! So I heard that she's leaving. It's sad. Does this mean this get place gets to be my new exercise place? It does not. But why not? We can have Jitter's gym right here, and Jitter's gym right there. You can, the whole island could just be Jitter's gym. Think about it, Sandy. Think of the marketing, the brand recognition. I don't know what any of these words mean, but someone told me they're important. Yay, well done, Sandy. I literally need to catch one more of these. So, somewhere around here, there should be another butterfly of some variety. Sadly... The, the, uh... While Jitters may be making monetary gains, the main reason I play this game 
on uh, stream is for my own enjoyment. Mainly for my own enjoyment. Some people would say, why are you still playing this game so many years from now? The answer is quite, uh, from when it was uh, out and massive, and the answer is quite simple. I, I think it's neat. And that's why I play it, because I, I think it's neat. And I enjoy it. And I have a small but loyal group of viewers who also enjoy watching it. They even sub to the channel to show how awesomely they appreciate it. Not a requirement, but always appreciate it. As are bits and anything else that is thrown my way. Always appreciate it. Here we go. I think here now. I'm looking for one more butterfly. I have a lot of flowers, game. There should be a butterfly some. Why, why you play this? I certainly play serious games. I write serious things, but that doesn't mean to say that I only play uh, serious things and write serious things. I, I love silly and whimsy and, and dumb fun. And I had someone tell you that once. Well, those people are meh and I don't listen to them. I do not listen to them. I do remember a long time ago someone called me a, a a wuss or a whip for not wanting to do Dark Souls content. And I'm like, the reason why I don't do Dark Souls content is I don't enjoy Dark Souls. It's a very simple reason. I don't enjoy the game, so I'm not going to play the game. But there you go. It, it, uh, it's a simple one-two one, two thing. It's why I have a Space Marine chapter that's pink. Because I want to have a Space Marine chapter that's pink, and I think it's amazing. And so I have one. It's a bright neon pink Space Marine chapter. And I think they're neat. Because they are neat. There's no such thing as a true gamer. Anybody that tells you that is lying to themselves. You want to know what a true gamer is, or a true fan of a hobby is? Do you like any aspect of the hobby? Yes, therefore. It's as simple as that. It's like if you play D&D. Do you play D&D in any capacity? Do you? Watch the show, the uh, original animated show. Do you have you watched the movie? Do you just like the novels? Do you do all sorts of stuff? Therefore, you like D and D. Therefore, you are a fan of D and D. Also, we found the scallop already. Hey, man, about that scallop of yours? Can I have it? Sure, you can. Whoa, thanks, generosity, man. It's no problem. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. Why don't I matter, let me lay some truth on you? The deep kind. Feel this. They always reboot movies, so why not food? I can get a sequel to Carbonara. Carbonara too, man! Do I have noodle around that? Yep, today's a good day. Yeah! It's like 
more people getting into a hobby is good. Like, more people getting into a hobby, more people with more variety in their in their interests and their views on, like, the hobby and the things that can contribute are so different, and it's good. Like, you want your hobby to get more people. That is how a hobby grows. That is how a hobby survives. That, that is how things continue to exist, because people keep appreciating it and engaging in it. Nobody gains if you decide that you're going to determine that certain people can't play it just because you think they will play it wrong. Like, the only way to engage in a hobby incorrectly is to play it in such a way where you are being, like, incredibly nasty and mean and cruel, or that you're playing it in a way that, uh, like, is literally offensive. In, in the sort of, yeah, that's harmful to people, exactly. If the way you play and the way you collect, the way you build, is directly out there to be harmful, then yes, that is bad. Yes, and... But the, the, thing, the thing about toxicity is there is no one litmus test to say what is and isn't definitively that, because people have a different opinion on what that is. Whereas there is very little wiggle room in when you are actively trying to be hurtful or hateful. Like, being hateful is incredibly bad, and I will not condone it. Like, if I see that sort of stuff in my comments, I yeet it out. Like, it has no place in the stuff I create. And I have not been perfect in this regard, or any regard, because I am a human being, and I make mistakes just like everyone else, but I have learnt. Like, I have learnt as a human being and gotten better. We we're all on a journey of self-improvement. This is a very true statement. We're all trying to get better. I don't know why I'm about to make another shovel. I could uh, buy another shovel. I can just make another shovel. So we're going to get some scallop. Uh, not scallop. Some uh, manila clams to make some more bait. But uh, this is just like... <sighs> I'm very fortunate in that my community is generally an incredibly nice, an incredibly welcoming, an incredibly friendly group of people. But there are, unfortunately, people in the past that have not been like that, and I just have to take a... a harsh stance on it. Because, funnily enough, uh, people who have watched my stuff for a while will know that I'm just, you know, a person that believes that you should just be nice to people and you should be welcoming and empathetic and compassionate and friendly and just nice. Like, some people have, have, have said it to me that it's really hard to be nice to people. It's like, it's actually really not. It's very... It, it takes a lot of effort a lot of concerted, dedicated effort to be malicious and mean and... And it takes... For me, it takes very little to just be polite and friendly and non-judgmental. Like, I don't... I judge people by their actions and their deeds. Because that is what you should judge someone by. You should look at what they do, and what they say, and how they treat other people. What other criteria should you judge someone on? Nothing.
And I know I'm I'm not saying anything massively big and bold and daring, but that doesn't mean to say it shouldn't be said. It absolutely should be said. I think it's time to post tangy. It is! I I concur, let us post it tangy. Tangy is a good tangy. But there we go. Just be nice. Like, if, as I say at the end of my uh, streams, if everyone was nice to each other, the world would be a, a much better place. Maracas! Oh, we could totally do that. I got some maracas for you. They even mostly work with the color scheme. I know it's a sidetrack, but who is your character based on? Uh, I mean, this is just the outfit I'm currently wearing, but... Uh, this is Sandstar. Sandstar, a character I have in my Eye of the Beholder Let's Play of Game, uh, Let's Play series. He currently is dressed like this because, you know, he lives on this island right now, but uh, he, is a, he is a gnome. A gnome in the D&D campaign, a gnome rogue. I just decided for my uh, streaming island that I would name my protagonist character Sandstar. And thus we ended up with the character we have here on the island, who has lived here for many, many, many days. 540. Numbered days. There are other streams as well. There are a lot of streams in this uh, playlist. A lot. It's around many, many years of content. You remember a long time ago when when someone said that I cheated? to get to this point in the game, and they literally wouldn't believe me when I said that you could literally just go on YouTube and check all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hills Far and D D is uh, not nice. Like, do not, do not go to to Hills Far in D D. Well, it's not great, and it's a lot worse for most people. But yeah, it's uh. Not fun. He goes cheated. He cheated death so many times despite trying to get. Yeah, I guess he was. No, no, it was um, it was about all the stuff that I had achieved and the money that I had accumulated on the, in the game. Which, funnily enough, when you've been playing for at least 540 days, including all the days in between, so a good nearly four years, you would accumulate a lot of money. Because what do I have to spend money on anymore? Like, occasionally I buy items for people's gardens? Considering the fact that game sharks haven't been a thing for forever, also good luck finding one for a switch. Also, where where I am from, they were called game uh, the uh, one for the NES and the Game Boy is called the Game Genie. I think Game Shark was a, a later thing. I think Game Genie actually existed in America as well. I don't know. Being uh, not American, I wouldn't know. Shocking, I know. If there is one thing that I admit to, it's that I don't know a lot of things. That's 
the one thing I know is that I know very little. I am, as they would say, derp. Very much derp. I have also never made claims that I am any good at any of the games I ever play. Even games that I've come back to and played as a replay, I still don't claim I'm any good at them. stuff is incredibly interesting because while they gave you a lot of codes in the books, if you had knowledge of game code and you had access to seeing the game code, you could just make a Game Genie code to make things happen. Like you, you could change almost anything. Also, that is incredibly adorable. I want to catch a picture of it. Good, got a picture of it. Excellent. Sometimes you just gotta catch a picture of a burb having a lollipop resting under a tree. Does Kiko have tens of thousands of pictures on multiple thousands of videos of Animal Crossing stuff? Yeah. Do I have any regrets about playing Animal Crossing for as long as I am? Nah. This is absolutely a game series that I think if I had discovered it years ago, I would have been a fan of it years ago. Like, guaranteed, if I had discovered it during the the DS days, I would have played it. 100% would have played it. But I discovered it as I did in 2020, and it was absolutely wonderful. I was incredibly happy to uh, to have it. Yeah, Kigo's only regrets is that I can't keep all the villagers I want to keep on the island. I, I have to have only a, a set amount of people. That is the one thing that makes me sad. I wish I could have more. But I can't. So I, I just have to deal with the fact... Well, to be fair... I have more villagers than most people do because I have two islands. Most people do not have two islands. And I know people joke with me and say, get three. And I'm like, no. Yes, it made perfect sense because they came out at the same time. And it was the most wholesome and amazing crossover you've ever seen because why wouldn't it be? It was brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant crossover. There we go. I mean, it probably exists, Rithmund. I wouldn't know where to look for it, though. See, this is the thing. Like, back with the 40k stuff, like, originally my plans for, like, things were, like, super, super serious. But then I went, no, I'm going to make something silly. Like, if I'm going to get back into 40k, I've got to have fun with the whole process. And one of the things I have huge amounts of fun with is the process of, like, making things. And I... I really, really like silly stuff. And so I made something silly, and, and it works. Both for me and and for other people who look at it from the outside. And it's, it's a really, really awesome thing to see 
coming to fruition. I mean, my wallet doesn't appreciate it, but... There we go. And at some point, I'm going to have access to my old Warhammer, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to, like, just keep it, if I'm going to repurpose it, or if I'm going to sell it. I don't know. I think I might keep some of it. I think I might keep some of it, and then just sell most of it. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. It would be nice to be able to sell it and make basically more income to spend on future purchases. That would be nice, but uh, we'll see what the situation is. We'll see how much I can get for it all. See what I can get. Maybe not as much as I thought. I haven't, as I said, made any decisions on that. And I don't remember exactly all the stuff I have. More here. Okay, if we grab that and we grab that, that should bring us to 20. 20 is a good amount of these to get. Yep, 20 is good. And now we have to prepare for making 20 of these here. Are you ready for me mashing the B button? Are you ready for jitters with a lollipop? Because that's a thing too. Nope. You could always, by the way, get into an earlier version of The Sims um, 3. You could always get The Sims 1. Or The Sims 2. There's only so many expansions for The Sims 1. And I did get it working on a super advanced PC. I did an LP of The Sims 1. Went through a lot of the content. Very enjoyable game to return to, with the uh, alternating of the videos, so that one video was one person's household and the other video was the other person's household. I haven't played around The Sims for a bit when the game was like, oh, I... We we got The Sims when it was very new, and it was a it was a lovely experience. Had a lot of fun playing. I was the one that stuck with it long, long, long term, though. I was absolutely the person that stuck with it long term. Make the last few of these. And that. Three more. And... 
<laughs> he's, he's come to watch me craft. Totally ignoring me, by the way. And there we go. We have made many, many things. And now... Now we go and deposit it all in our house. And I apologize that you listen to me ramble a lot, but then again, rambling is kind of a thing that I do. Let me quickly see if I can find someone to raid in a moment. Uh, that is perfect. This person right here. But you know what time it is though, folks. That is correct. It is time for me to thank you all ever so much for being here. Because you are all absolutely fantastic and amazing and brilliant and wonderful. And I couldn't do what I do without you and I wouldn't want to do what I do without you. You are the heart and soul of my community. You make it all possible. And there are a couple of things I need to quickly talk about before we conclude. Starting off with my website, getgarsgo.com. You can check out all kinds of things there. Including my schedule. You can uh, replay your dust You can also find links to my compartment by going to home. Then there is my Discord. There you can join a large and thriving community, which I'm often a part of. There are loads of places to talk about stuff, loads of promotes, based on lots of ways and streams, past and present. And if you link your Twitch and Discord together, and you are subbed to me on Twitch, you can use the Twitch emotes on Discord, which is fantastic. You know what else there is, though? There is also my Patreon! There you can pledge to support me in doing what I do. There's something let's play stream my set of behind paywalls. There's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes that you typically do not see. Including but not limited to all the editing, impression, and test streams and test recordings and everything that makes all what I do a reality. And in these times, I do rely on the people that pledge to me to make all that I do possible. And those that do pledge to me not only get a different colored name on Discord and my deep and sincere thanks, but also get the ability to vote on upcoming playthroughs when the opportunity arises. Speaking of uh, stuff that I've... Uh done, there's my YouTube channels. Kikulskia, my 16 year old, 10,000 video plus Let's Play channel. I'm so old. And then there is Kikvodskia. Thank you, Diamond, for the uh, kind words there for everyone. Kikvodskia is my newer VOD orientated channel, and they can get all my Twitch VODs. Uh, my goal is to get them all, uh, Kikvotskia to a thousand and Kikoskia to a hundred thousand subscribers. And to do that, we must appease the algorithm! And by that, I mean liking and commenting on videos, subbing if you're not subbed, and if you are sub, press that bell for those notifications. Thanks, Trayden. There's also my Twitter, and all of my other social media accounts, like my Mastodon, Instagram, Blue Sky, Discord that I mentioned before, and the Community tab on YouTube. There you can get notifications on when I start streaming, on my Let's Play videos go live, and all kinds of random other stuff. And then there is my Throne Wishlist, where you can put money towards things that bring me joy. At the moment it is mostly uh, Warhammer models that are up there, because they are pretty neat. And if you have a suggestion for something that is not up there, you can use the suggestion section to put that up there. Finally, there is me thanking all of you, because seriously, you are all absolutely fantastic and brilliant and amazing and wonderful, and I could not do what I do without you, and I would not want to do what I do without you. You are the heart and soul of my community, you make it all possible, and I have never been happier than when I am entertaining all of you, because seriously, you are truly amazing, and just the most wholesome and supportive community I could ever hope for, and with your continued support, I'll be able to keep doing this for many, many years to come, as many years as is possible. So thank you all folks, ever ever so much, seriously, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you. And whether it be morning, afternoon, or evening, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I hope you achieve everything that you set out to do. The next stream is Monday, 7pm GMT. It's going to be more King of the Castle, where hopefully we won't have awfulness happen. Oh, who are we kidding? We're going to have awfulness happen. But we did succeed in an actual armed conflict with the Ashmedian Empire. Kind of. I, I get the feeling there will be ramifications for that. But there might not be. There probably will be. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. And remember... Be nice to each other, everyone, for if everyone is nice to each other, the world would be that much better a place. And we all want that, don't we? Well, I certainly do. And I hope you do, too. Later.